Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new flashback um, TT2 review today. Uh, we're looking at a card that has really good links, to be fair, guys. Those Barcelona French links is uh, really, really good to work with, right? So that's probably going to be a big reason why he's going to be a little bit up there in price. Uh, because for base card stats, he looks pretty decent, right? So he's six foot tall, low medium work rates, left footed, two star skills, three star weak foot. So obviously some really good stuff there. Uh, player traits, injury prone, shouldn't really be in the game anymore, but it is what it is. Uh, base card stats in game is at a 79, 78 for pace, which is good because when you give him a shadow, it's going to be at an 89, 88, which is actually pretty solid for the meta of this game. Uh, shooting is at an 88 for shot power. Uh, base card stats are passing set up really nicely for a defender. Dribbling will be experimenting with in game because of the way that that is set up. Because with Umtiti in game, he does have a unique body type. The interesting thing with this card, right, uh, that we're going to be taking a look at the most is honestly a little bit of movement because movement is not as important this year when it comes to defense as it was in previous years, in my opinion, right? Like, obviously. Last year, when you got to a certain point with the top tier players, like you could see the way Sergio Ramos moves in the card is disgusting, right? Varane this year, if you guys checked out the Varane rev review, the way that that guy tracks after players is absolutely disgusting as well. So unless you're talking about those crazy top tier meta players, uh, you know. But uh, with MTT, uh, we are going to be experimenting with that body type in game. Again, the body type being at a unique six foot height. Uh, pace of the way that it is should be very interesting to work with in game with the shadow chemistry style We will be boosting his defense to essentially be perfect except for defensive awareness at a 91 So that it's gonna be cool to work with the medium high work rates could be a little or the low high, low medium work rate Excuse me um, with the physical stats set up the way that it is 86 for aggression 90 for strength So he does have some really good physical features, which is great and uh, with defending being a little bit different this year Maybe with like a, a thing in the future because there's some defensive stuff that they mentioned in the patch that could actually help out the game a lot. One of them mainly being like when your player intercepts the ball and they kind of do this like huge touch forward um, that just gives the opponent the ball back. That's stuff that they're adjusting in a patch, right? So when you take a look at stuff like that, it's not really like the player's fault, right? Okay, so the way that we're going to be lined up with MTT in game, this is a defender review, so I may or may not attack. It really just depends. I know that scoring some goals sometimes is nice for defender reviews, just a kind of see the basic stuff but again we're just testing him out we kind of want the opponent to attack against us as much as possible we're going to switch him to the left center back position we're just going to be playing a 4-3-2-1 i haven't really been using this formation in general i just really like this formation to do player reviews I, I like to check out players in this formation uh very very helpful because three center mids you got attackers right set up the way that it is it's very very helpful so um yeah we'll go ahead and try this out and uh we'll see how he plays in game hopefully he's good Cool, we'll take that, we'll take that. Nice little cheeky goal there with Dembele. Use the skill moves, get into the driven shot angle. Apply the pressure right there, nothing too aggressive. Oh, hello, this is a good opportunity to kind of test him out. Yeah, so that that's a turn that I was doing with him in that situation. Uh, that was completely on me. I just kind of wanted to force to see how fast he would kind of like turn in that area. Ooh, that one goes right through him, eh? No, MTT, don't do these. The Legrand switch with MTT, I'll take that. Oh wow, we actually got a penalty for that. Yeah, uh, Schmeichel. This guy has Schmeichel? I didn't see his team, so I apologize. Um, TT, what's your penalties before I take this? 64, okay. Yeah, I just... I had to go for the chip because uh, I am not confident with 64 penalties. Nice, um, TT. We'll take that. Oh, we actually got that chip off. Look at that. Let's go, baby. You know what? I'm not used to the feeling of the chip shot, so I really thought that was over the bar right there. Yeah, that one I have to just go for the interception. Just block that certain passing space there. Yeah, apply a little bit of pressure. I think that's off by him there, too. It is. Nice. Legrand switch.
We'll take it. We will take it. That's funny. It actually registered like my third uh, slide tackle button right there. It's ju it's just to get the players to get up, to get up quicker. I think that's still a thing, actually. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that. I wish the first one was kind of like initially a uh, possession-based challenge, but. Oh, that was sick. Nice goal. See what his dribbling is like. It's not too bad. I'm going to pass it back here. Switch. Go to your weak foot. Yeah, it's good. There you go. Just collect that real quick. The ground switch here too. Ooh, what an interception by Fred. If only we seen that more often in real life. Ooh, he actually goes for the challenge there himself. Misses it. Definitely misses it. There you go. Possession base. Just hold L trigger. You don't want to actually press the tackle button there because if you miss time, it's going to be a penalty because they can do it themselves, right? But... There we go. Just got to block that uh, shooting angle. Double block there. Almost got a true block there, actually. But the goalie's got it. The goalie's got it. Tackle, yeah. Tackle again. Nice. From the corner kick, he actually runs back pretty pretty quickly, I would say. His work rates, like I said, they're not really being like a huge issue for me. Uh, do I still prefer the medium highs and stuff? Yeah, I probably do. Tackle that one. Good possession base as well. Driven pass. Good. Nice. No! Edder Militao! The clutch! <laughs> kind of weird that it switched off me there with uh, um, TT. But it is what it is. Let's get a... Uh... Okay. Oh yeah, that was, that was a fantastic pass. Okay, so I know that he cannot do that. <laughs> See, it's a perfect opportunity to take a corner kick, let him get the ball, and then kind of see how fast your players actually track back into their original positions, which, to be fair, he does a good job there. That one went straight through his legs in a foul, right? <laughs> that was just... Uh... You know what? I don't mind that an animation for defending when I'm not controlling the player, but when I am controlling the player, it's a little bit strange. What is going on right now? This guy's, this guy's hitting, me with, hitting me with the confuzzles. Select, pass off, there you go. Good. Oh, no, I shouldn't have passed it there, that was so bad. Nice Benzema, get that driven shot angle, I love it. Okay guys, so final verdict on the new Flashback MTT card. So, uh, we gave him a Shadow Chemistry style for the pace boost as well as the defensive boost while working with good physical, decent passing, and okay dribbling stats for a defender. Uh, in regards to how he performs in game, guys, I didn't mind him too much, uh, but I didn't think he was that special, right? So, for instance, this was actually the first time that I used the Ether Millie Town card, and right off the bat, I will say that I prefer Ether Millie Town over the Sumtiti card, 100%, right? Um, it actually feels... Am I... Because uh, I, I haven't seen Ether Millie Town's card this year. Is he a medium high or a medium medium? Like, he's gotta be... He's gotta be a medium medium, maybe? Yeah, medium medium, wow. This card is really good, okay? I enjoyed using this card a lot. Lean body type for him, I think, is the thing that, like, really makes him a beast. Um, I think that card is better than the TT card, right? Here's the thing with this SBC is that uh, you're looking at it from a French Barcelona Liga Santander and whether or not the card is actually pretty good, right? Um, for me, personally, it's not an SBC that I would do, right? Because I've even tried the Koundé card because I, Barca, Barca links will depend. Like, do I really need that triple link setup? It really depends. Like, would I sacrifice making sure I got that triple link set up for how MTT plays in game? Probably not. I because I don't think he's a special card by any means, right? Like for me, if I were to use uh, Kunde in the team with Ether Militao next to him, 
I feel like that would already be perfectly fine. So if I only need the double link for Liga Santander in French, I could already get that with the rare gold Kunde card at 18k. Uh, get that quality in a very good center back in a card like Ether Militao at uh, 23k, right? So again, when you look at the SPCs, you look at the links more than anything, but you're also looking at the quality. And I don't think the quality, for me personally, like it... You know, 75k, it's got to be better than at least at the other Militao, you know, or Kunde or anything like that. I really don't like comparing cards because I like looking at each card individually. But with this SBC, I feel like it's really necessary to do because you could just work with cheaper options. And I don't think um, TT is going to be like a hugely sentimental card for people to get unless they want those Barca links. If you're going for the Barca links or a past and present Barca squad or whatever it is... Um, you could totally add him into your team. I just don't think the card's that special. If you unlock him, he'll be decent. But I'm I'm telling you, if you use a card like Ether Millie Talent, those are the special types of cards, in my opinion. So I think the SBC is up there in price, personally. It's not a card that I would uh, do myself. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.